To get started with Resolve Infusion, drag your footage down to your edit timeline. Choose the part of the clip you want to work with. Select the clip and go to Clip, New Fusion Clip. This is going to set your ins and outs, so you're working with only the part of the clip you want when inside Fusion. In the Effects Library, go to Open Effects, Lock Down, press Pop Out. To create a mesh, control click and drag on Windows, command click and drag on Mac over the area you want to track, then press Track All. If you have any issues with tracking, you can use the extremely accurate mode, which is going to track slower, but probably look better in most cases. You can close the pop-out. To track graphics, let's start with text. Pressing 1 so I can see this over in the top left corner. Put your text output into the Lockdown Graphics Comp input. Right now you can't see the text yet. This is because the plugin display is set to tracking. Tracking is going to let you see your mesh. To actually attach the graphics, change your input to graphics comp. One concept to note that's very important here is that the text has been applied on frame zero because frame zero was where we toggled from the tracking display option to the graphics comp option. As I play this back, you can see that the text is deforming following the mesh that we had previously tracked. Obviously you want to see the background in there, so let's add that. I'll add a merge node, and I'll make sure my original footage is the background, and Lockdown's input is the foreground, and the merge node's output will be media out. Playing this back, this should make a lot more sense now. Now I can adjust the position of my text. And when I play this back, the text is tracking. There's one very important concept here. And to illustrate it, I'm going to move this text. I'm just going to create an X. And I'm going to move this text over the rhino's eye. So on frame zero, you'll notice that the text is in this position right here, and it's in exact alignment with the footage right here. There's no distortion on the X. This is the frame where it's being projected completely flat. And then as we move along, this text is getting distorted and rotated following along with the mesh. So in Lockdown, it's very important to know on which frame you're applying your texture flat. I'm going to move to the middle of the footage. I'll select Lockdown, and I'm going to toggle back to Tracking. And now you can see the mesh here. The next time I toggle back to the Graphics Comp, I'm telling the plugin this is the frame that I would like to paint on. So the X has actually moved. Just for example, I'll create more text in a different color and put it on his eye here. So when choosing my frame at frame 50, the eye is in the position of Y. And at frame 0, it was in the position of X. There can be some advantages to choosing a lockdown frame that's easier to paint on, it's just important you remember which frame you chose. This is why I would recommend selecting your node, going to settings, and under your comments, typing out lockdown frame is frame zero, or frame 50, or whichever you chose. That way you can always remember it. I'll delete the second layer of text. And now I've gone back to frame zero. I'll select lockdown. Set the plugin display back to tracking, and then set it back to graphics comp. And because I've made that change on frame zero, now this text is back in alignment. Now this is the way it is because we're just launching Lockdown for DaVinci Resolve. However, on or shortly after our release, we are going to remember that frame to make this easier for you, as well as creating an automated scripting setup to set up the background and some more things that I'm about to show now. 
So how would you paint using Lockdown? Let's just clear this text. First, I would take Lockdown and then copy and paste it. So you have a duplicate of the node and you want to take the fridge and run that into the input. I'll view this in my first window here. Lockdown uses something called a stabilized comp for painting. If I select this node and I'm on frame zero, as I should be, which I've noted is the frame I'm going to use for my painting and graphics, I can switch my plug and display to stabilized mesh. Also on my main instance of lockdown, I just want to switch back to the tracking mode so you can see the mesh. Now when I play these back together, you can see what the stabilized mesh is doing. It's still playing the video, but there's something weird about it because it's not moving. Basically what happens is this mesh that's tracked here is going to go to frame zero and find whatever positions the vertices are in at frame zero and stabilize the video so it doesn't move. This is extremely convenient for paint work. So for example, if I wanted to do some clone stamping and just get weird with it, I'll add a paint node on my stabilized composition, increase my duration to something long, grab my clone stamp brush, alt click on the eye, and clone stamp out and create another one. So you can see what this looks like in the stabilized composition. The paint stroke isn't moving, but because the footage is stabilized, it's staying attached relative to the rest of the Rhino. So if we want to see this paintwork applied over the top of the Rhino, we'll take our paint node and put it into the Lockdown Graphics Composition input. So again, at this point, you can't actually see anything happen. So we'll go back to frame zero, remembering on Lockdown, that our lockdown frame is frame zero, which is where we've chosen to stabilize and paint. Then with lockdown selected, go to controls and change the plug and display to graphics comp. And now this paintwork has been tracked back to the original video. I know this setup may be confusing. However, this is already completely automated in our After Effects version of the plugin. It's going to be one of our first priorities moving from the Resolve Beta to the Resolve Release. Just for clarity, I'm going to cover the process one more time for any of you who would like to copy this exactly. Apply Lockdown. Open the Popout. Control click and drag on Windows. Command click and drag on Mac. Press Track All. Close the pop-out, create a merge node, taking the output of lockdown as the foreground and the original footage as the background. Copy and paste lockdown, take your media input and put it into lockdown source input, go to the frame you'd like to paint on and just make sure that you've toggled to the stabilized mesh view while on this frame. So you can see as that changed, this is the frame we're viewing. And then when we toggle, we can clearly see that this first frame, frame zero, is the frame that we're painting on. Apply paint or text. Take all of your graphics output and put it into the Lockdown Graphics Composition input. Make sure you go to the frame which you've decided to paint on. And toggle the plug and display from Tracking to Graphics Comp. And of course, plug this all into your final output. And there are your results. So again, we'll be working to streamline this process as we approach the release. Thanks for watching. Please give us your feedback. And you can find more info at aescripts.com slash lockdown.